apples download it what you're going to do then is i've got a letter size document in photoshop i just went fi file new i chose letter underneath the print category and i turned it horizontal okay but what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop each of those photos in so i'm going to go to my downloads folder i'm going to drag and drop one apple double click it to let go i drag the next apple double click it and then drag the third apple and double click it and you could pick each of these apples up. This is just a sketch. So I'm going to let my pictures kind of hang off the side there. Cool. Okay. I can make one of them a little bit smaller if I need to. And so all he has you do is practice using the paintbrush and using different settings on the paintbrush in the video. Okay. And if you do follow along with the video, he does give a lot of good pointers. I want you to pick one single color, any color. It doesn't have to be red, doesn't have to be green. Um, he uses like a bluish gray in his, so I'm going to pick out a bluish gray. But basically, okay, I just want you to use the outline shape of the apple. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make a brand new layer. Okay, and I'm going to make sure it's on top of all my apples. And I'm just going to start with the first apple. I'm going to adjust my brush size, and I'm just going to make sketches. Okay, I can turn my opacity down. I don't have a stylus with me right now, so mine's going to look a lot worse. But you're just going to make sketches where you look for the places that are shadowy, okay, or darker, and you're going to add a little bit more shading to them. Okay, so I'm going to create, like, it's a little bit darker where it's red, and add a little bit of, like, cross shading to it. Um, for the sake of time, I'll show you his picture one more time. But you're just going to keep it very simple, okay? You're not drawing the whole thing. Your sketches should maybe take you 10 minutes. They're not supposed to take a long time. Um, so if we look back over here, and if you follow along with the video there, you, you can see it. It just it feels a little overwhelming, I know. But if you see the sketch here, it's just kind of the outline, and I look for places that are shadowy. And it's just meant to practice using the opacity with the brush tool. And at this point, a lot of you have gotten better at this because this was from a few weeks back and you probably feel very confident at this and it will take you much less time than it would have originally. But you'll just create three light sketches and you can sketch right on top of the Apple photo. Like, I don't care if you trace the outline. But what I do want you to do is when you get finished, take the move tool, the arrow tool, and just pick up your sketch, like my beautiful sketch right here, and just move it down so that I can just see your sketch below your apple. That's all you got to do. But you can trace the apple itself to help you kind of figure it out. It's just practicing using the brush strokes, okay? And hopefully yours will look a little more complete than mine. Now, the spatula, which is the other assignment from that same day, the spatula is a little bit different, okay? In the video, he draws the spatula from scratch, Okay, I don't want you to do that. That's not what we're focused on. We're focused on with this learning how to paint and using different sort of coloring paint techniques. So what I did was I went ahead and saved the spatula image for you. You can download it. And just like with the apples, you can trace the spatula. So I'll go to Photoshop. I'm going to hit file. I'm going to open it. Okay, cool. There's my spatula. And all you're going to do, and don't freak out with me, okay? It's, it's, it's not actually that much, okay? All you're going to do is you're going to create a new layer, and you're going to trace over the spatula, okay? I want you to focus on this gray part right here and trying to make the shadow and the highlight, but you see all these little flower patterns on the handle? I don't care anything about those. You don't have to draw a single one of those little patterns. Just make it a solid red handle, and we'll call it a day. But just trace over it. You don't have to worry about the shadow. You don't need to do anything for the background. It's empty. But I just want you to practice like these little shapes in here and the little shadows in the shapes on the spatula. They take a lot of like little work and attention to detail and time. So just trace right over it. And when you get finished with it, turn off the photo layer so that all we see is your drawing. And that's it. Okay, so the spatula is also not meant to be super difficult. You can watch the video. But you may not need to watch the video because now I've told you all you have to do is really trace it. And that's what he does. He just does it a little bit slower and he talks a little bit more about the tools. But at this point, like I said, we've used most of the tools already and it's not as overwhelming. So if you do need to work on those two, 
that's all you have to do. And if you need me to repeat any of that, I gladly, gladly will. I can help you set it up. If you're unsure of whether or not you did something correctly, just let me know. Yeah, Maggie, what's up? Would you like me to come over to you? Yeah, I'll come over. Hang on just a second. So just make sure you save often. Work on what you happen to need to work on. Maybe it's not these two things. If you are missing anything from this semester, I will take it through the end of next week. So work on things. If you look on Canvas at any of your assignments that are missing, prioritize the things that are in the summative category. They weigh more. They, they make a bigger impact on what you do. Okay. Are you going to wander around upstairs? Yeah. Come back quickly. You okay? They're just like the gym, work gym, like regular size. Leave him alone so he can do that. Goodness, goodness. I can never tell if y'all are like cool or like sort of fighting.
Okay, I'm very quiet. How do, how, do, how do we feel about music videos from your youth? Do you feel okay about that? Okay. You guys were young then, right? Oh, don't forget the I'm a gummy bear. Sorry. I'm a gummy bear. I'm too old to know what that is. Who sings that? I don't know. It's just this radioactive looking gummy bear. I'm listening. Okay, we'll say that for that. That sounds like a good one to watch. Wrap it up at the 